Enterprise children, we will study use sources and the use agency in today's class. Use sources. So, sources of use are everywhere. And some sources will be routine points of contact for journalists, while others may be one of some will be uh, proactive approaching journalists because they want news access for their views or events. While other sources may not even be aware that they are sources. So, journalists should maintain a contact book having list of people categorized and uh, carrying vital information. The sources of news uh, can be listless. Uh, some sources or you know academic journals uh, uh, that is you no know, research by academics published in journals uh, is a frequent source of news stories. Uh. So, here the journalist's job is to spot a potential story among qualifications uh, and to render the story intelligibly to the readers. Uh. And even armed forces, uh, forces could be a very good source for news uh, uh, agencies uh, for press. That is, in peace time, the armed forces can generate stories uh, through mysterious deaths, uh, deaths or uh, cases of bullying that come to light. So, during times of conflict, the military briefings become events in their own right. And next, you know, if you see, art groups are very important sources. So, apart from providing information about the forthcoming events, art, art groups can generate rows about funding or controversial subject matter. And next is uh, commerce and trade is also a very good uh, news source. This business organizations uh, can be useful source of news stories or uh, comments about anything from uh, interest stories or a valuable source of information for evaluating the image of an organization. And if you see, council press office is also an important uh, source. Uh, uh, that is, in a local authorities employ teams of press officers. And they react to journalist queries, uh, uh, coming up with information, quotes and uh, contacts while acting as, you know, uh, as a buffer between the decision makers and journalists. And council press officers with an eye for a good story should be able to get uh, daily page lead uh, leads in uh, local uh, evening newspapers. Uh. And the next source is uh, uh, court hearings. Uh, court hearings, you know, court reporters uh, dip in and out of several courtrooms looking for cases that fit the news values. Uh. So, hence the importance of uh, good contacts with court staff. Uh, uh, police, uh, solicitors and others uh, should be realized. Uh, some reporters will also you know go after uh, background material like uh, quotes from victims and their relatives. Uh, and the entertainment industry is also one of the main important sources. It is an, uh, now these days it is an increasingly important source for today's media and the celebrities they gain immense uh, uh, they gain immensely because you know of uh, popularity through media coverage, uh, films, uh, serials, and uh, various other programs gain uh, only if media has been highlighting them. And uh, government uh, a news network, uh, it is the government news network produces uh, you know vast numbers of news releases uh, on behalf of the government departments and agencies uh, on a regional and national basis. Uh, and it also handles uh, material and the royal visits. Uh, um, health authorities and hospitals also are a very important source, uh, like now outbreak of a serious disease uh, which we have now, the COVID-19, um, funding crisis, uh, hospital closures, and the health promotion are all examples of news stories that arise from health authorities. Uh, hospitals, even hospitals, are the source of good news. Uh, stories carrying you know news about the cures new treatments and next source is you know library libraries though it is hard to believe but the truth is that you know not everything is available on the internet so libraries retain a useful role in providing access to reference books company reports of local histories indexes of local societies uh, even community notice boards and so on. So, these are the main uh, important uh, sources from where they collect news.
and the next topic is news agencies so what is this news agency a news agency is actually an organization of journalists which is established to supply news reports to organizations in the news trade see organizations like uh, newspapers magazines uh, radio and television broadcasters so these uh, news agencies are also known as wire services or news services so wire services or news services are referred to news agencies in other words a news agency is an organization which collects or gathers news and supplies it to different newspapers magazines radio stations and the television channels uh, uh, you know subscribing to its services so news gathered or reported by reporters is actually sent to newspapers via uh, electronic uh, teleprinters or computers so these newspapers in turn uh, they pay a monthly subscription to use uh, news agencies for the news they receive and uh, there are some basic principles which should govern the functioning of news agencies so i have listed some here we'll see one by one now the first one is uh, news agency and a news agency there should not be any monopoly of one news agency second one news agencies should not be state owned or state controlled third they should have overall interests of the government and of society so their writing or their reporting should not be biased they should develop coverage of foreign news and also they should give the country's news to other media in foreign countries next one the news coverage should be fast objective comprehensive and accurate next one they should not have any specific editorial policies and they should avoid comments while reporting and they should be as far as possible viable thus the news agencies in a democratic society should provide complete impartial objective accurate country wide and competitive news service it should be free from slant or interference from any source and if you see uh, governments may also control uh, news agencies uh, that is particularly in uh, authoritarian countries like you know china and the former soviet union or uh, non for profit uh, organizations uh, operated by both uh, professionals and volunteers so you know a country like australia britain canada and many other countries also have uh, government funded news agencies uh, and a recent rise uh, in internet uh, based alternative news agencies like uh, scooped as a component of the larger alternative media have emphasized a non corporate uh, view as being largely independent of the pressures of business media and if you see in india uh, that is before indian independence uh, reuter owned and operated an, uh, as an associated press of india so after independence api this associated press of india api was transferred to indian ownership and named you will be familiar with the pti which means press trust of india and for years the pti press trust of india remained virtually a monopoly and this press trust of india pti is a non profit cooperative among the indian newspapers before emergency uh, there were two english news agencies first is press trust of india that's pti and the second one united news of india uni 
two other news agencies uh, hindustan samachar and samachar bharati provided services in hindi and regional languages respectively according to the unesco report on world communications there are news agencies in 90 countries uh, and in many countries the news agencies are controlled only by the states so that's why it is said that news agencies should not be controlled by states and the news agencies in india if you see the government of independent india and the nehru had begun encouraging indians to start their own indian news agencies so that these would give a more balanced a uh, picture of the developmental uh, uh, activities going on at that uh, time so encouraged by the government some major newspapers joined together to form a trust and then set up independent uh, uh, india's first news agency so that is the india's first independent news agency is pti press trust of india that was uh, formed in the year 1949 and as i said it took over the business of uh, the associated press uh, of india uh, which was uh, in the process of you know winding up because of financial reasons and the api had been a subsidiary of uh, the reuters so by the virtue of the size of the operations and the financial technological strength five world agencies stand above the rest and they are the first one is associated press of america which is known by ap the name ap reuters which functions in uk agents france press afp france tas stars next is united press international that is u p i while the indian press is fed by a large volume of foreign news india has not been able to sell any news service abroad even in regions where there is a great deal of interest in uh, indian affairs such as you know countries of asia africa west indies etc so there is a considerable uh, potential for explore exporting indian news to foreign countries uh, if serious efforts are taken so writers you know is a private british news agency named after uh, its founder paul julius von writer and writer was uh, founded in the year 1851 so these agencies they uh, solely depend on freelance writers the writers may be online to uh, some of them on regular basis or work on a piece to piece basis so the agencies then mail these features to all their clients thus leaving the clients free to choose which one they have they want to publish in their newspapers so thus it may happen that the same feature may be published by more than one newspaper or magazine so however, most uh, feature agencies they try to avoid selling Uh, the same feature to more than one journal in a city and the remaining that is a uh, remaining we will see next class thank you